everyone welcome to gr golf and welcome to today's video golfing with jim episode one today i'm headed to the first tee at rolling meadows gonna do a nine hole uh video just me playing some golf against old man par out here today and you know i'm a 8.1 handicap currently and i'm out here just trying to to shoot uh, a score for nine holes that'll keep me in the 70s if I were to play 18. And I'm going to set a realistic, obtainable goal for me today. Uh, the par is 36 on this front nine. I'm going to come out here and try to shoot a 39 or better and see how I do. So hope you enjoy the video. Let's have some fun and enjoy the golf. All right, here on the first hole, it's a par four, pretty well straight away, 300 and 35 yards to the middle of the green. I've got driver because there's really not a lot of trouble up there and it's pretty wide. Let's see if we can get off to a good start. Oh yeah, right down the middle. All right, I'm up here to my ball. I had a really good drive right in the middle of the fairway. Got 87 yards with my calculations here. Uh, I've got my 56 degree wedge. Let's see if we can hit it close. I'll get there. Not bad. Using line on my ball. And then uh, I have a short on my channel, as you can watch. I'll use my putter right over that line, especially on these short ones that comes in handy. And then a little tip for everyone, aim small, miss small. Find uh, a little speck on the back of the cup like I'm looking at and putt right to that little speck. Don't just aim at that entire hole. Okay, got that in with a par. We're off to a good start. At hole number two, we got 180 yards to the flag. With it being below me, I'm gonna play at 170 because of the elevation change and I've got seven iron. Oh, it's got to sit, pulled it. Face was definitely closed on that one. Now a little tip for you at home is in my practice swings, I can see where I just grazed the grass. I'm gonna stand behind here and check my alignment. I see that I was aimed pretty good there. So I'm gonna trust that brushing of the grass, that line to line myself up. Push that to the right. It's up on the green. We'll celebrate that. Let's see if we can get a par. Ah, really good putt. I'm real happy with that. Let's see if I can tap in. You know, there was a, a solid two putt. And really, if you can go around every green and try to have two putts your scores are going to dramatically lower i uh, did my goal there i hit a good putt at that length and was able just to make the next one stress free as possible to tap in you know hey it's a bogey but let's move on and knowing that i i'm playing pretty solid i can make some birdies out here all right we're here at hole number three a dog leg to the left par four it's a short hole but i'm not gonna hit driver here i'm gonna hit my four iron try to hit the ball in the fairway Oh, that ought to be good, folks. That's even drawing. Oh, yeah, that's right where I want to be. Play the little draw there. It's rolling down the hill. Let's go see where we're at. All right, be good. Oh, yeah. 
set up there. Got a good look at birdie coming. Ah. All right. Got that in for a solid four there. I would have loved to make the birdie, but also I'm realistic. These greens have been recently aerated and they're going to be bumpy. I got to be patient. Ball's not rolling real true, but that's okay. I'm happy with the par. Let's go on the next hole. Keep moving forward. All right, hole number four, pretty straightforward. Uh, par four, 389 yards, actually handicap one. And uh, there is trouble on my left and the fairway does uh, uh, go towards the water on my left. So I'm gonna aim at a pine tree in the distance, a little bit to the right of the fairway. And I'm gonna aim small, miss small. Uh, it's always better to do that. We talked about it, I think on the first green about aiming small when you putt. Real important on full shots, find a small target, aim small, miss small. I'm gonna pick a tree and try to get my ball to go towards that tree, see what happens. Oh, did not hit that one good, but I think I'm going to be okay. Because I had a smart decision on aiming small, missing small, and also aiming to the right, I've actually ended up, even though I mishit this shot, in a pretty good spot. If the camera wants to show over here, you can see the trouble over here to my left. If I aimed at the middle of the fairway, it's a good chance I could be over there. But because I aimed a little bit to the right, knowing what the how the golf course lays, Aimed at one of those pine trees in the distance. Even though I mishit it, we're sitting good. Got 150 yards, I got nine iron. Oh, hit that to the right. All right, you know, I hit a usable shot here. I did not hit it the way I wanted to. I pushed out to the right, but it's still usable. I had the right distance, I'm noting that for future shots that I hit it right to the number I wanted to. I just push this one to the right and I'm gonna see if I can hit this up there. Uh, I'm gonna try to land it about halfway on the green because it is down away from me with this six degree wedge, which I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try to hit this halfway uh, on the green between the flag and the start of the green. See if we can hit it close. Go in. <laughs> oh! Thought that was in, folks. All right, now we're here at hole number five, short par four, 306 yards to the green. And honestly, there's not a lot of trouble up there. I know my driver, if I smoke it, can go 300 yards. I know it's not gonna go much farther than that, especially through weather. So I'm gonna hit driver here on this short par four, try to hit there close to the green, see what we can do. I'll hit it good. Hit a little bit left, hopefully we'll get away with it. Should be okay. So we're here at my ball. Hit a good solid drive here. Got 56 yards into this pin. I'm gonna try to fly at 52, see if it releases to the hole. All right, now we're to our first part five of the day, hole number six, a difficult driving hole, but again, I'm gonna aim small, miss small, uh, hopefully miss small rather, uh, and do my best, try to get this ball up there on that shelf in the fairway. Let's see if I can get it done. Please. 
to the right a little bit. Should be findable. So I found my ball here just to the right. We've got 200 yards uphill to the pin. Being a par five here with the trees to my right, I'm not gonna go for the green here. I'm gonna play it smart and be okay on this difficult hole to get in the green in three shots. I've got my seven iron just to hit it out up into the fairway, concentrate on getting on the green on my next shot. So I laid up here in a great spot. I got 60 yards uphill to the green. I'm gonna try to dial this six degree wedge in, hit it close. Oh. All right, so tough three putt there. You know, it is what it is. I got to the green in regulation and sometimes you three putt. And it's time to keep looking forward. Now I'm two over on my round and I got some holes to go to try to meet my goal. My goal and hopefully we can make a birdie coming in. Here at hole seven, we got a pretty straightforward par four. The terrain does drastically slope from left to right. So I'm gonna aim a little left accounting for that. Let's see if my strategy pays off. All right, you can see me walking back to the camera. That's because I'm only about 60 yards out to this flag, and but I couldn't see how the green, uh, what the contour of the green is rather. So I, I took the time being this close to the green. Went up there, took a look at it. I wanna aim a little bit left and trust it. Dial in this 60 yard shot. Hopefully have a tap in birdie. All right, so had a good look at birdie there. Just missed it. Again, a, st a stress-free tap in to make my par. I'll take that every hole. Here at hole eight, we got a par three downhill from me, 149 yards, we'll just say 150. So I've got my nine iron here and really gonna concentrate on not taking this flag stick on that's over to the right. There's a lot of trouble. We've got woods over there. Really, I'd like to be in the middle of the green. So I'm gonna aim at the middle of the green See if we can get it on there and get out of here with a three. A three is a good score on any hole. See if we can pour this in there. Okay. In with a three. You know, I'd like to make a birdie there, but also I'm not going to get too upset uh, with the bumpiness of these greens. It's just part of it this time of year. Going to keep looking forward. 
and finish strong. We got a par five coming up. Really want to meet my goal today. All right, I'm here at the final hole of my, my challenge today. I'm plus two trying to get out of here with no worse than a bogey, which is really attainable if I hit a good tee shot here and meet my personal goal of shooting a 39 on this side. And uh, with the aeration marks on the greens, I'd be real happy with that. So let's get off, hit a good solid tee shot on this par five. I'm gonna aim again. I'm gonna pick a target in the distance. I'm aiming at, at a garage door at a home really far away but I'm gonna focus on that garage door. I'm not gonna focus about any of the trouble to my left, for example, and try to hit my ball towards that garage door. Oh, kind of come up out of that one, so I pushed it to the right. Heading right there towards the cart path. But hey, it's in play. Even though it's a miss hit, you know, we'll take it. We're here at my ball, getting ready to hit this second shot on this par five and understanding that, hey, look, I'm just trying to get the green and three here. I've got a good score going. I'm gonna aim to the left of these trees because you gotta use, I, I believe in an 80% rule philosophy. Eight times out of 10, I, am, I don't feel comfortable. I'm gonna get over these trees and have a good result. So I'm gonna aim to the left. I'm gonna take my seven iron, aim a little bit to the left, get it in the fairway. All right, we're here to where my ball is, where I hit my seven iron. You know, in hindsight, I did, I hit that seven iron so good, I kind of got up here on this hill, but I'm okay with that. Uh, in hindsight, you know, I should have hit the eight iron. I've been a little flatter lie, but it is what it is. I've got 115 yards. I've got my 50 degree wedge. Let's see if we can hit it close. Get up there. Yes, way to finish. Wow, that was fun to make that last putt there, especially on these aerated greens, to get that par to exceed my goal. I shot a 38, I was trying to shoot a 39, and that was my realistic, reasonable, obtainable goal today. For me at my level, an eight handicap, I'm trying to shoot in the 70s and, and work on that. And you know, if I shot two 39s, that'd be a 78. That's why I chose on this nine hole match against old man par to shoot 39. Your goal may be different. Maybe you're trying to break 100. Go out there and try to shoot a 49 and get better that way. If you're trying to, trying to shoot and break 90, try to go out and shoot a 44. If you're like me and you're trying to break 80, set a goal of 39 or even 40 to start with and, and try to break those personal goals that way. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to uh, continue to look out on our channel for future videos. Remember to smile often, have fun. God loves you. We'll see you next time.